Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Last week, we put out a video on Scuttlebutt, particularly how it relates to the main engines of Iowa-class battleships and many other ships. The rumor was that these are owned by the company that produced them, in this case Westinghouse, and on lease to the Navy. Uh, and we had tried to reach out to Westinghouse and not uh, gotten any response that was helpful in this. So we put it out to you guys to see if there happened to be any experts watching. Um, and short answer is, of course, that there was an expert watching. We, we got uh, a couple of great pieces of information that helped solve a large part of this mystery, which is one of those things that um, I feel like is a mystery for a lot of sailors, a lot of museum ships, all that stuff. So, uh, first of all, we uh, got an email from uh, an individual uh, who helped point us in the right direction, because the response we got from Westinghouse when we put in a, a general inquiry was pretty unhelpful, um, which is why we had to come out to the public in the first place and think, what's the deal with this? Um, and so we had somebody explain that to us. Uh, the Westinghouse that built those gearboxes is long gone. I'm reading an email here. Um, you probably talked to Westinghouse Consumer Products, uh, which has no connection. Westinghouse was broken up and sold years ago, uh, and various companies picked up uh, various components of them. Uh, for example, electrical equipment was picked up by Cutler Hammer, then Eaton, Industrial Large Motor Division went to Tico, T-E-C-O. Um, so we were not gonna get the answer we wanted from Westinghouse. The, the folks that made the reduction gears aren't, Westinghouse anymore. So that was a huge uh, help that, that pointed us in the right direction of, of where we should be asking and who uh, was an expert, because we had many people reach out to us on this. Um, next, of course, we got an email from our friend Bob at Midway, who is a uh, retired engine man himself, and he had a couple of uh, uh, updates for us from the video. Um, the rates working on the reduction gears and everything else associated with main engines would be machinist mates, MMs, not engine men, which I think is what I said in the last episode. Uh, engine men work on combustion engines like on small boats or emergency diesels. Uh, so I misspoke, should be MMs and not EMs. The whole big box is called the reduction gear, not the reduction box. Inside the reduction gear are gears. The outside is more properly referred to as the case. Okay, the next uh, bit of information that Bob had for us is that the, uh, I had said hundredth of an inch. Uh, these were actually measured down to the 10,000th of an inch. Uh, so that is a zero with four numbers after the decimal point. And he has seen tech manuals. Remember, he works as a volunteer on Midway which we found has the exact same propulsion equipment as uh, New Jersey and Wisconsin. Uh, so he has seen uh, tech manuals for those that, that go down to that 10,000th of an inch with the, the four zeros after it. And then he, he uh, gave us the insight that on his submarine, it was the captain and the chief engineer who held the keys to the covers. Uh, there were the two sets of keys, so each had one set. Uh, in four years on board, he never saw one open um, that could be because they didn't want him around, he jokingly says. Um, but as long as you keep the oil clean and cool and did regular inspections, it's completely reasonable to think the reduction gear you were standing beside was put there during initial construction uh, because there would be no wear if everything was functioning properly. So that brings us to the, uh, the third email, the one that's actually going to I believe, answer the question for us here. This was a Northrop Grumman employee who reached out and he says, I am a field service engineer for Northrop Grumman, who in the 1990s acquired Westinghouse division that builds main reduction gears, among other products. Uh, I've been doing this job for 20 years and one of my peers who's uh, retired actually worked on the Iowa class ships. We and our other coworkers have been hearing this myth on the deck plates our entire careers. Sailors are even taught this in A school. 
while I can't tell you how it all started, I can tell you it has not been true any time in the history of Westinghouse of which we are aware. And I've never understood what it was Westinghouse would supposedly do with 40-year-old uh, main reduction gears uh, from an obsolete design when the material was supposedly returned. Uh, I suspect the myth is just instilled in sailors so that they will respect the hardware. The closest situation that I know of is in some contracts the shipbuilder will never take ownership of main machinery. The Navy will buy it direct from the manufacturer, loan it to the shipbuilder, and it becomes government furnished equipment uh, during new construction. Then of course uh, they get it back when the Navy receives the ship. Nowhere uh, in here is the manufacturer renting the machinery out though. So we emailed back and forth a couple of times and, and he had another uh, bit in here which mirrors perfectly what Bob, our engineering expert from Midway, uh, told us. With clean oil, proper dehumidification, and good preventative maintenance procedures, the main reduction gear elements typically last the life of the ship. Uh, with the conservative design engineering and extensive factory testing, it is rare uh, for any failures inside the gearbox, that's his word, um, Bob, don't crucify me for that, uh, that aren't caused by neglect or mistreatment. When big things do go bad, it requires a haul cut to complete the repairs, and you're looking at a four to five month job working 24 seven shift work to complete the repair. Hence the importance of the security locks and high stakes and that sort of stuff. So uh, I, I think that this pretty conclusively answers the question, at least for Westinghouse products on the Iowa class battleships. Keep in mind that two of the Iowa class battleships are built with General Electric uh, reduction gears, not uh, Westinghouse. And I assume GE would give those ships the same answer that uh, our that our Northrop Grumman employee, uh, which bought Westinghouse, gave us on these. But, you know, if, if you're a, a GE employee watching this, uh, I'd love to hear if you guys do things the same way, or, or maybe you do lease stuff and that's why this rumor persists. Not. Uh, let us know in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate that support. Again, it's what allows us to go out and do new research like this to answer these sorts of questions that we've always had. And we also appreciate your support in helping us solve these questions. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum, or you can support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.